This is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And I have a box here that I'm going to do show you my haul back on coloring book day, which I believe was it may have even been August 1st. It was at the beginning of the month. Uh, you may well know that uh, Dover had a special coloring day sale uh, on their site. And so they had a selected set, there was two pages, of all kinds of Dover coloring books that were 60% off their regular price. And then on top of that, they had 20% off your entire order. So I jumped on that and I only ordered uh, from the 60% off list. I didn't add anything else on the site to my order. So these were all 60% off and then an additional 20%. So basically we can say 80% off the retail price. So I got some good deals and I got some good books. I got a few that were even on my wish list. So we will start with a Dover Spark book. I am collecting these and uh, I have a few. So I still have many to get. And this one is Zany Birds and there are 31 sided pictures in here. It's illustrated by John Kurtz, and the Dover Spark books are aimed at children, but they are fun pictures for adults to color as well. So yeah, I, I like the scenes. The ones with just one animal and no background are a little... Well, I guess they all have a background, don't they? So, yeah, that's our quick quick flip. not going to give you full flips of these. Each one of these books will get its own flip on my site. If you see something on here that you would like to see a flip of, uh, please let me know because then I'll move it to the top of the pile and I'll get it uh, done for you. Now this is one that was on my wish list and it's Mendy Designs traditional henna body art by Marty Noble. So this has got a lot of like uh, paisley prints and that kind of stuff. It's patterns and I like doing patterns. So there are 30 in here and uh, yeah look at that. I love the color palette of that. So on the inside of the Creative Haven books they have a colored picture. Yeah I love the color palette for that too. So, got lots of paisleys and flowers and butterflies and stuff in here. So, yeah. Oh, these are really not like that. That's nice, too. And I like just the pattern ones. I, I love coloring patterns. I get into a zen. Oh, that one's nice. Very nice. Ooh, like that. So that's a creative haven. Not sure if I got any just Dover ones or not. We'll see. Then another creative haven and this is Sea Life Mandalas, the deluxe edition. Um, I don't believe there is a non-deluxe edition because I, I went to try and find it and there wasn't one. So this is a fat one and more expensive than than the uh, typical price. This has 60 mandalas in it. And uh, let's take a look at the colored pictures. Ooh, look at that one. I like coloring sea life. Well, that's pretty. So yeah, each of these are are uh, fun. Oh, that's the, oh no, it's not the front picture, it's different. Our fun marine themed mandalas. Of 
crabs. A lot of fish ones, of course. Ooh, black background. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a black, there's a few black background ones. See horses. We just passed another black background. Oh, yep, there's one with seahorses on it. Well, these are going to be fun. These are really going to be fun. And what's the first one? First one is turtles. Sea turtles. Hmm. Well, that is good so that's another creative haven and the next one is another creative heaven and this is one that i wanted it's a pattern book and i love art deco i like both art deco and art nouveau so let's take a look at the inside ones okay that that looks like quilt patterns that one thing i'm not interested in is quilt patterns ah there we go that is classic art to deco pattern. So this is 30. I oh, love that. Ooh, these are going to be fun. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to color that one, though. It's got a lot of black. When there's a lot of black in a pattern like that, I don't know what to do. It kind of, like, looks like it's done. Oh, I'm sure I'll figure it out <laughs> somehow. That one looks more easier. Oh, there's the... Hmm. So, let's see. They just colored in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These ones I'm more tuned to, but there's lots of these black ones, so as I will figure out how to do them. What is the first one? Ah, yes. That one is easy. Cool. Okay, and then next, I believe, is another Dover Spark. Yes, I think I got two of the Dover Sparks. And this is Playful Animals Coloring Book. And it has 30 uh, artwork. Oh, I haven't been t telling you who does the artwork. Uh, I told you on the first one. The uh, Mendy, Mendy Designs is Marty Noble. Uh, the Sea Life one is Joe Taylor. This must be a little bit of an older one because it, it's not on the front. William Rowe for the Art Deco. And the Playful Animals is by Victoria Moderna. So I saw when we had the uh, Dover, the Dover Spark uh, color along earlier this year, there was a few people coloring from this book. Yeah, there's just really cute animal scenes where there's a whole bunch of the same animal. I like that kind of picture. And the art style is quite distinct in this, eh? So yeah, again, just a quick, a quick flip. That looks like it's the first, oh no, what's the first one? No, that's not even the first one. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. There we are, some goldfish. Okay, good happy with this and then the next one is a creative haven and this one was on my wish list and it is circular cities by david and legina bodo 30 patterns and uh this one let's take a look at the colored pictures yeah uh, this is a circle circle patterns and I really like circle pattern patterns like uh, well kind of like when the people draw the mandalas but in the center of them there's a 
there's a design of like an actual, I should say an actual illustration in the middle. And um, things like, uh, things like, um, oh, what's her name now? Is it Tanya Barnett? Is it Tanya or Tammy? Tammy sounds right, but I think it's Tanya. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> I can't remember her right name. I've got her books. Uh, I like her circle pictures, and I like even like her broken circle pictures. So that this one appealed to me. So it's got cities within a circle. Now, this is interesting here that uh, it tells you what the city is and what uh, famous landmarks are in it. So this is Venice, Paris, oh, that's New York, oh I was going to say New York, it's New Orleans, New Orleans has a Statue of Liberty, or is that supposed to be the, oh, it looks like a Statue of Liberty, that's weird, here's Miami, Oh, you know what? This is Miami. It's on the back of the... Oh, my goodness. Let's start again. I'm telling you the wrong cities. Okay. This, I have to look on the back of it, is Venice. That's why they, that's why they weren't looking right to me. I'd been to Venice and it didn't look like that. So, this one is Paris. You see, I was... I was looking at this one going, that's Paris, but this is in Brazil, the great big huge Jesus statue, Rio de Janeiro, yeah. Okay, so uh, this one is Moscow, and Mexico City, that's, that's Las Vegas. What's the state? doesn't matter. These are cities, I forgot. Las Vegas, uh, Edinburgh, oh, so they're from all over the world. Chicago, though there's an awful lot of American ones. I hope there's a Canadian one in here. Does it tell you? Is there a list of them? No. Okay, so that's cool. I like that. And this next one was on my uh, wish list as well. This is Groovy Mandalas. I have all the Creative Haven Mandala and Color by Number books on the wish list. Um, so this is Groovy Mandalas. A, a girl in one of my groups uh, was uh, working on this book one month. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of really cool ones in here. Pretty interesting. Those two are... are very traditional and those two as well but there are some well there's a lot of blank pages at the back okay so we have lava lamps and peace signs and things those are just circles flowers peace signs the sun oh these are gonna be fun I'm not turning to any of the weird ones like the one on the front. Hearts? Okay. I was a little worried there's going to be too many of the weird ones. Let's see if we can come to one. Yeah, there we go. That's the one that's on the front with the guitars and the birds. So let's take a look at what the front first one is. Butterflies. Oh, these are going to be really fun. Lots of Creative Haven books. Now this is one I, uh, a series I've never seen before. It's called Insanely Intricate from Creative Haven. And does it? The artwork is by Connor Martin. So these are like Zen Doodle animals. So this, it says on the back that these ones are specially created for experienced colorists. Ooh. Oh, wow. Those are colored nicely. 
mine won't look as good as those. Cool, a bee. Can't even tell what that is. Oh, it's a it's a man ray. Is that what they're called? Or is that a is that Aquaman's villain? <laughs> Something like man ray. <laughs> Uh, shark, parrot, uh, is that a good one? No, oh, that's the one shown on the front. I think it's a baboon. Oh, it could be a lion. It's kind of hard to tell. No, because it's got this mandible on it. There's the hammerhead shark. Oh, this one's got a background to it. Bunny. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. Dolphins. Cool. I like these kind of books a lot. So next is... This one's a thick one. This is, I think this one has two books in one. Uh, Creative Haven Art Nouveau Designs. So let's see what it says. Okay, so Art Nouveau Designs contains all the pages from the following previ previously published books by Marty Noble. Art Nouveau Animal Designs and Art Nouveau Patterns. So it's got those two books put into one. And um, I actually have those separate books on my, on my wish list, so I better make sure they've been taken off. Or I'll end up buying them. So oh, that's cool. So yes, like I said before that I liked the Art Nouveau. Well, these are classic. So these would be the patterns at the back of the book. Oh, these are going to be fun to color. Like those. Oh, we might be in the animals now because there's birds in that one. Yes, we're into the animal section. Butterfly. Oh, these are nice. Very nice. Let's see what the first one is. Oh, that's pretty. Hummingbirds, I think. No, they're not hummingbirds. Those tails are huge. And this one on the front is pretty. Okay, the next... Okay, I did get a Dover coloring book. And, and this last one was Marty Noble. So this one is Simply Circular Designs. Leanne Snowzek. Now these are very simple, but it's circles, and I like circles. So these are double-sided. Those two are very simple. Yeah, these would be good for using three colors, or even two colors. I'm trying to see if I can manage that. Use, use my super tips for these, and what's the first one look like? That'll be fun. And there's that one. That one looks kind of 3D-ish. Okay, good. So I got some from every set. Okay, now we got the last one. And this one was in my on my wish list too. Animal Mosaics by Jessica Mazurkowicz. Oh, I wish somebody would say this word for me so I could read her last name. I seem to have a lot of books by her because I'm always saying her name. Okay, so um, yeah, this one was on my wish list because I like mosaic patterns. So that's really pretty. And that is gorgeous. I might use the color scheme for that because I mean blues and peacock blue and teal and stuff that's definitely 
the right color. So there's hummingbirds. The mallard. Snail, so that's cool. Flamingo. Oh, I saw an owl. We passed panda. Snake. There's the peacock one. And those are raccoons. And let's take a look at which one is the first one. Oh, the one that's on the front. That one's nice. Okay, so that's it. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got eleven. Got eleven books. One of them is a two in one, so you could say twelve. Most of them are creative havens. Then I got one Dover and two sparks. So, um, remember if you would like to see me, uh, if you'd like to see a flip through of any of these, let me know in the comments down below because uh, I'm going to be adding these to the bottom of my pile of books to do flips of. And if you specifically request one, like any of my books in reality that I haven't done flips of yet, if you request one, uh, I'll move it to the top and get it done for you. So just uh, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these uh, Dover books and I hope you managed to get in on the sale too. And if you did, um, feel free to link me to your haul video so I can take a look at what you got. So in the meantime, until next time, bye-bye.